Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. In the last episode, we defeated Frozone, <coughs> I mean Rondas, and obtained Ice Missiles, which let us freeze shit. This episode, we're going to be gathering some stuff around that we can do now we have access to Ice Missiles, which is wonderful. So, we're going to start off by heading over to... We started here at the Cliffside Air Dock, and we're going to head over to the Grand Court. So, if we use these grapple hooks, well, they're not really grapple hooks, I'm not playing bloody Wind Waker, are we? Or Zelda, generally. But up here, we have one of these doors. We've scanned it before. Immune to most weapon systems, vulnerable to extreme cold. So those can be cracked open by the old ice missile. This gives us a little scan in here. This little fellow is a Gima. Not aggressive by a form. Avoid contact with spike shell. You don't say. But we get a useful little missile expansion, which is wonderful. Um, we're now going to head over to... The GFS Theseus. So from here, um, this is the room where we kind of turned the map thing back on. There's actually this lock here that we could, well this door that we could just go through the whole time. It was unlocked. But I didn't. You'll notice I do this fairly often. If there's something we could go to, technically, but then we'll get like a little bit down the way and then get stuck. Um, I don't bother showing it off at the time. And indeed, this is the Falls of Fire. We would have got here and gone, hmm, hmm, can't do anything here. But now, of course, we can Frozone our way across it and get to one of the more interesting room transitions in the game. I thought that was one way, but it's still lit, so apparently you can go back up. I would love to see that guy just fucking Superman his way up there, but hey, we're not going to see that for now. Now, here we get quite a cool puzzle room. Unfortunately, first, well, there's various things that happen. Samus, we have discovered a Federation landing site from here. You may be able to use this facility to upgrade your ship. We are sending the coordinates to you now. So, I will check that in just a second. Unfortunately, yes, there's warp hounds here. One thing you'll notice is that... Oh, balls, it didn't work there. Normally, ice missiles actually work, as in they hit. Well, we just killed it. They hit, and then they go... Oh, well, we just killed both of them. Cool. Um, but yes, you can actually freeze enemies with them, and then you can often shatter them with the charge beam, which is pretty bloody handy. Um, right, so... That is our goal. Treasure Federation landing site. And you'll notice it's right next to here. You think you might want to get there from, like, the Thorn Jungle or something like that, but you don't. You only get that from Bryo Fire, which is way the fuck over here somewhere. Um, no, you only get to this by going through the Theseus in Bryo Cliffside, which is quite nice. Anyway, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, what's this? Oh, various things have been cancelled due to coronavirus again. Um, it is the 16th of March uh, currently, and and coronavirus is real taking hold of the UK um, hard and fast. So, hey, if you see a massive increase in my upload schedule of late, that'll be why, because I've been self-quarantined. Though, in fairness, being unemployed might as well be self-isolated anyway. So, I burnt a vine there while I was talking. You will notice we've got a lot of stuff to scan here, so let's talk about it. This is our real goal here. War Golem is restrained and unable to move. It looks like it was trying to reach for the control unit. This is the control unit. Golem control unit online will transfer energy from the slots to the connected golem. But the connected golem is restrained by scarly vines with a thick bark protecting their fuel gel soaked interior. Vulnerable at the core. Got loads of other stuff as well. We got this gate door that's locked in place that we can't open the outside. We got this gigantic thing. I don't even know what this is. Galactic Federation fuel gel pumping crane. Yeah, it's one of the things that I haven't really talked about it so far, but this world is kind of used as... Oh, here it says, fuel gel is susceptible to extreme temperatures and will freeze. It's kind of letting you know letting you know that there. Um, yeah, Brio is used by the Federation um, as a source of this fuel gel uh, that they use to, like, fuel their armies. Um, quite handy. So, it, basically, all the stuff we've been reading, all this kind of, like, lore about Brio, um, happened, like, 300 years ago or something like that. It's basically just been a ruined place as long as any of us have been alive. So, that's the second vine dealt with. Um, now, we need to oop, hop over there because that's back on fire. Yes, freezing, of course, of fuel gel does not last forever. Now, if we come up here and scan this bit here, we see... The Brinstone. In this section of Cliffside appears to have weakened over time. Brinstone means missiles. And with that taken out, we can hop in there again. We have to do a slightly weird side jump to get around that. And then, bam, crystallized fuel gel again, which means we can blow it up. Three down. Wonderful. 
Now, the final one can be a bit of a tricksy one to get. What you actually have to do is attempt to activate the golem. So he attempts to move, he can't quite make it, but it rips the cover off that final restraining bolt. Which now, with that free, we can actually free the bastard fully. So... He woke up, he moved that thing, and now he's gone to sleep forever. That's often the case with these golems. He's not the first one we activate. No, he's not, he won't be the last one we activate, even, but... Sense, we have uncovered more information regarding your condition. It appears that once activated, the unique phason inside your body overreacts after several seconds. We did not foresee this problem when we gave you the PED, and unknowingly, we put you in grave danger. We are sorry. Please be aware that it will not be possible to counter Dark Samus without the PED. You must be careful in using it. In the meantime, we will continue to investigate this unique phase of- Cool. So, you'll notice while they were talking, I acquired an energy tank by bombing through that arm, which is quite nice. Yeah, um, <laughs> they basically say that, well, you're, you're becoming corrupted, which is bad, and we're sorry about that. But also, we had no other choice than to do it, uh, because otherwise there's no way of fighting Dark Samus, so I guess deal with it. It's like, cool, thanks, that's that's real helpful information. Um, yes, shockingly, with the name being entitled Metroid Prime Corruption, all this phase on we're sucking in isn't necessarily good for us, but it is giving us a decent fight against the bastards, so, you know... Uh. Oh, lord. Um, that was unnecessary. Um... Oh, this is like dodge one, isn't it? So we've got to crack some fuel gel crystals here to proceed upwards. I think that one works. And then this one, we've got to just hit it at that angle. That's a fuel gel crystal, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So that frees. There we go, that pillar. Uh, you must have noticed that last bit I was doing. It was just free. Basically, crack fuel gel to, to free some stuff and proceed up this room. A lot of the time, if I'm just doing platforming stuff, I might as well just have an off-topic. Well, not off-topic, but not necessarily describe what I'm doing, because it should be obvious what I'm doing. Oh, uh, that was fortunate. And now, if you look on the map, we are in the Federation landing site. That's not the door. This one is. Here we go. So, there's a lot of stuff to look at here. We got some... Oh, these are Gragnol nests, aren't they? So I'm going to just take them out from a distance before they start becoming problematic. There we go. And I'm going to scan these things. So, these are missile racks, are part of a gunship weaponry upgrade system, controlled by a nearby terminal. That sounds cool, doesn't it? And um, this up here is a useful bit of scan. That is a Bador control system. That's not what I thought it was. Engaged and manually over... Well, I'll actually talk about that in a sec, because that's slight spoilers for what I wanted to do. Show. Uh, show, not do. Um, this is what we need. Hostile life forms detected. Initiating security lockdown. Ugh, more warp hounds. I'm just going to go hyper and try and blast through them pretty quickly. The slight issue with hyper is, um, you, you kind of have to, you can't just stay in it indefinitely. You have to, enemies like warp hounds can be a bit difficult to fight in hyper mode because they tend to move around. Oh, there's reptilicus as well. Fuck it, let's just go hyper again. I know we don't fight enemies for a fair while after this, so there's a reason why I'm able to risk this much, um, health. Where's he going? He's up there. They kind of home in slightly the hyper beam shots, not hugely, but enough to be kind of fun. So that gives us control of that again, but we're still kind of in this security lockdown. Um, if we go over here, we get to do some not unnecessary motion controls. Boop! It could have just activated when I pressed A on it, but no, we did the little boopy boop, because why not? That's the kind of game this is, I suppose. Now, from everything it showed us with that flying camera there, it should be pretty bloody obvious what we need to do. But anyway, um, we've got a couple of objectives here. We've got to raise the security lockdown, um, but we've also got to... I'm lost. Nope, it's over here. Um, but we've also got a little thing to gather, which is going to upgrade a new part of the visualizer, which is pretty nice. This activates this lift. And now, we need to go over there technically, but we've got these sucky blowy holes. So, start by going in the sucky hole. 
That's the blowy hole. I'm an idiot. This is the sucky hole. Up we go. Now, this is kind of important. This is a new thing, but it's also a scan. There are a finite number of these in the game. Scan this first one and you just won't run into problems. This is an energy cell used as a power source for Federation technology. We technically got one of these right near the beginning, but that one was in a tutorial that doesn't count. This one, however, is very much real. Motion controls, twist, pull. Pull. Uh, I'm pulling. There we go. You gotta keep pointing at the screen while pulling. Energy cell acquired. You are now carrying one energy cell. Visualizer update. Energy cells won't come in until right near the end of the game, um, so I won't, I'm not going to tell you what they're for, but gather them wherever you can. So removing that energy cell opens that kind of barrier there. We can get out of here, this time through the sucky hole. Oh, we still need to... There we go. So, there's a few more things to scan. There's an orange door down here, which if we scan it, it is called, unsurprisingly, door has a low, it's called a Federation Orange Door. Door has a low level energy seal, only a high temp beam can disrupt the shield and open the door. Well, we don't have one of those, so let's proceed onwards, I suppose. So, now we have, where has it gone? Over here, this thing that we can grapple, hoik, and pull ourselves out a little platform and keep proceeding. Up these rails, he says. Oh no, around to the side we need to go. It's so nice in this game that they gave you space jump from the start, honestly. It's it's one of the things that annoys me so much about the earlier Metro Prime games is the whole, oh, we'll give you stuff in the tutorial, but then we're going to take it away again. At least this just gives you everything from the start. Um, but the price you pay for that is motion controls again. Tilt towards me, cross down. Those ones at least are quite easy. Because uh, you have to go whoop, 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 and just do the action Samus did, but in real life. That raises the security lockdown. Now, finally, what this means is we can call our ship here now that the um, hangar doors are back open. But we can't call our ship here with... Get the... What the... There we go. Uh, we can't call our ship down with these rail things in the way. So we need to go over here and lower them. Boop. And now we can scan the ship in. Ah! There we go. Come on. received. So, if you remember what this was for, this was an upgrade for our gunship, and this is a well cool thing. Gunship upgrade complete! New weapon system added! Ship missiles are online! Lock onto a command target icons with Z to initiate a bombing run! Holy shit, this is fun. Uh, functionally, we won't get to play for it with it for a while, a bit later in this episode certainly, but... Ship missiles essentially function like power bombs. You don't have power bombs in this game, but these are basically the equivalent. You'll understand when you see them in action, if you've watched either of the previous Prime games. If you hadn't, well, it's something exciting and new, but you can tell power bombs is going to be fun anyway. Um, but also, yes, the ship is here, which is very nice. So we are going to take advantage of the fact that the ship is here, and we're going to fly over to the fiery air dock. And once over there, we're just going to head straight over to the corrupted pool. So here we've got a new scan, this thing that's firing at us. There's a lot of space pirate stuff, including space pirates themselves now around this part of Bri Bryo, the kind of fire side of Bryo, and this is a remorse class turret, susceptible to explosive blasts, which can mean either missiles or it can mean charge beam, either works pretty well. There's a couple of Jolly Rogers around, so generally there's a few more enemies to fight here than when we first explored through it. Uh, anyway, we now need to proceed on to the gel, I've got all turned around, proceed on to the gel hall. Oh, 300 kills. That's nice. Well, still keep proceeding on to the jail hall. Now, we've got two useful things in here. If we come over... Oh, there's a bloody another Jolly Roger. Ah, help! Uh, if we come over here... This is a bit shitty, this because It's actually, if you look in the top right, it's not on the map. It's off the edges of the map. It's like in the Here Be Dragons region. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I'm on fire. Oh, God, this is hurting lots. Um, yeah, because, ah, if you're too much on fire, you also can't land on the frozen bits because you just burn straight through them. But hey, there is a missile upgrade here, which is pretty nice. There is also, you will notice from the map, 
Or not. Oh, bloody hell, more bloody Jolly Rogers can fuck off. Um, I've still got horrible flashbacks to this room from the bloody gel ray. Um, but you'll act like that. Notice over there, there it... Oh yeah, that did work. Good. Um, there is a ice store. A ice store. An ice store. A ice store. I hate myself. Um, and this leads to a weird thing. Target must be moved into position in order to be used as an attach point for the connector system. So we shoot that, and it moves into position and becomes grapple. And this is worth knowing. We haven't done this before. You can shoot while grappling, and I'm pretty sure you couldn't do that in the other Prime games. It's pretty nice. Um, and we can swing around a little bit, and then we pop out back in. I think it's called the Imperial Hall, this kind of main area. But, A, we unlock a shortcut. Back up here, should we need it in the future, which skips out some little nonsense. And unlocking that shortcut also gets us a missile expansion, which is fantastic. Anyway, now we're going to head back to the Temple of Briar, where we fought uh, Rundas. So, here you'll notice, oh, there's a load of shit that wasn't here before. And there's a few more things to scan. There is an armoured aero trooper covered with a thin layer of armour susceptible to explosive attacks. So, missiles are your friend with them, hit them with a couple of missiles, and then their armor falls off, and then they're just a regular aero trooper, and become much easier to fight. Like any aero trooper, they'll blow up when you kill them. Uh, there's also these here. Um, these are space pirate crates, used to store additional weapons and energy supply for troops. That apparently just wasn't there before. Um, but yes, we just need to kill everyone here, so I'm going to blast into hyper mode quickly, because all the armor in the world doesn't help against a face full of Phazon. Now, you'll notice something's going on here. There is this thing, a cannon base still under construction. Unit appears to be nearing completion. There is a clamp securing the elevator, preventing me from operating. Contains high amounts of maldium. So, maldium means something specific, which we're about to learn what it means. The cannon appears to be the standard Tiamat model. Construction is incomplete. And finally, this thing here. Jamming beacon is interrupting remote control kit signals. Cannot use command visor while it is active. Well, let's turn it off then. And now, with the command visor, Maldium means one thing. Bring in the heat. Disrupted by jamming tech. Oh, fuck, there's another one, isn't there? Oh, what an idiot. God, I look like a fool now. With both of them jammed, that the jammer's taken offline, that means, yes, now we can actually call in a bombing run. What, did, has the other one turned back on? Oh, this is bullshit. And you've... Oh. Ugh, irritating. God, hyper mode is fucking powerful. I guess it's powerful, but you just got to remind yourself that you are actually essentially just launching an energy tank into them, that you are firing your own health at them. So that's, I guess, the, the cost to it. But if you get a lot of energy tanks like me, you generally tend to be all right. Finally, bombing run, go. God damn, that's satisfying. Um, yeah, this that's what I mean when I say basically that... In other Metroid Prime games, that would have been a power bomb where you curl up into Morph Ball Bomb and then you press D-pad down or something and you do a power bomb. Uh, most of basically there aren't power bombs in this game, and the role that they fill, uh, that they do gameplay-wise, is now filled. Oh shit, Aero Troopers, uh, Aero Mines, Aero Mines. That was it. Oh, it's doing two at a time. Shit, shit, shit. Get away. Fuck. Now oh, we got them all. Ah, oh, and then my floor melted. Oh, the fuck. Oh, I'm just gonna walk, I guess. Cool. This is fun. I'm running a little... I'm not running low on health. I've still got three bloody energy tanks left. Though I will run out if I keep bloody injecting them at the rate I am, so... It's just... I, I honestly tend to use hyper mode, not for um, particularly challenging... Well, I do use it for challenging enemies as well, but I find the most useful function of it is for quickly getting through low-level enemies where you're just like, I can't be asked to deal with this shit. Hyper mode time, brrr, zap. Um, but yes, most of the times that would have been um, hyper... Uh, super... Power bombs, there we go, hyper super power bombs in the form of Metroid games are now done by bombing runs instead, and I must admit, it's a bit more fun. Like here, for example, we know, for example, this shield generator is made of Maldium. You notice in the bottom right, that's a number of ship missiles. We've got three at the moment. I picked up one, I guess, at some point. But hey, let's fire her off. Generator destroyed, but as you can see, unfortunately, the stick shield is still going. It's become unstable, but it's still operating. 
And so that's going to be our challenge for next time. There is a second generator if I bring up the map. Uh, oh, this is Bray of Fire. We need to go over to in the Thorn Jungle. The second generator we are aiming for is here. There we go. Destroy Western Energy Signature. So that is going to be our goal for next episode. I hope you'll join me then. This episode, though, we've got the ship missiles and a means of destroying these gigantic shield generators. Next episode, we'll be destroying them and working our way inside the Leviathan. Thank you very much, and good day.